Well, well, well. Thumbs up. Hey, we got, we got people. How's our people? How's everybody? We got, we got nine people. Whoa, Killinger, holy smoke, Sweet Lou, Sweet Lou, Garth, Sweet Lou, showing up for live, Sweet Lou. We got one thumbs up. Oh, oh, <laughs> hi, everybody. How's everybody? Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Everybody good? What am I looking for? Maybe this? Hey, what do you guys think? Should we go Kevin Costner today or just regular? Uh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Exactly. Exactly. Look at this. Look at, look at freaking this. I put you there, right? I put this here. And I can look at you guys and talk to you guys and look all cool. And uh, Terry C, look at this. Jute shoots 22, 26. What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? You know who does that? That MMA guy, you know? Steven, uh, uh, what's his name? He does that. He says that. What's up, everybody? Kind of crazy, really. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. Where's the fireplace? Can you guys see the fireplace? How's that? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Bucking, love the channel, spread the love. Tyler Horig. Tyler, absolutely, brother. That's that's what we're doing. That's all the tree cutting and all that craziness going on. Yeah, that's that's great content and that's everything. But spreading the love is what the main gig is. 100%, brother. 100%. Good for you. Bill Block. Good to see you, Billy. You guys think we should turn this down a little bit? What do you guys think? I think we should. I think we should go like this just because. I think that's going to help a lot because for starters, you're going to be able to see the fantastic, fantastic, get the gullet shirt a little bit better. That's what I'm talking about right there. Hey, who did this super chatting thing? Who's the crazy super chatter? It's Mike Newman. Love you, man. Pass it on. I will, brother. I will. Ricky James, Colin McKee, George Scott, Dylan, Dylan Mulvey. Dylan, how are you, buddy? Hey, how about we do this? Remember this, guys, gals, women and children? Remember this thing? Watch this. Boom. Yeah. How's the light? Good? Here, let's get rid of that. We don't need that. I'm sorry. Don't be. All right. That's pretty handy. I like that. That's nice. Look at that fire back there, friends. Something about a fire. Sergio. Love learning tree work from videos. Thanks, Bucking. Sergio, you're welcome, buddy. Thank you. Nick Gentry. No way. Nick, how are you? Nick, good to see you, brother. Italy, Stefano. Donnie Walker's in the house. Hey, Bucket, how's it going, bud? Donnie Walker, it's going good. Good to see you on the live feed, brother. Did you guys see that Nick Pixel wrap up that? Oh, my goodness gracious. What's happening here? Oh, my gosh. Jacob's, what? Jacob? Whoa, I missed all this stuff. Poor boy custom. Sergio. Sergio, thank you. Wow. Robert. Kim Wilson. Noel. Jeffy Rubish. Tasman. Tasman, how are you? Charlie, are you watching? Taz, is Charlie watching with you? Charlie, how are you, darling? Woodchuck man, 
Hey, Bucking, this is Woodchuck Man's daughter, Sammy, and I've been using my axe. Good for you, Sammy. Good for you. Thank you for the super chat. Sweet Lou, here's the coffee. Love the falling from the front end loader of that Kubota. I was puckering in my living room. You know the funny thing about that, Lou? Sweet Lou, you, do you honestly want to know the truth of that? That is safer than standing there on the ground. What, what's, what's more dangerous about having a tree fall up from 10 feet away from you and gone than it is standing at the bottom of the tree? I don't understand why people think that's more dangerous. It's actually safer. It's safer. Do you think that the guys out in the bush with the springboards, with the springboards, do you think, I bet you every single one of them would say, bring that tractor over here, I'll stand in the bucket. I, I just, it, it makes me chuckle, friends. There's nothing dangerous about that. Cutting trees is a dangerous job. That's why you got to figure out good ways of doing it. To keep safe. And I'm not Mr. Safety by any means. Don't let me don't let me fool you. Don't let Buck and Billy Ray fool you. I, I ain't Mr. Safety. I'll be the first one to tell you that I'm a risk taker. I don't know why. I think it's just part of my makeup. I'm not proud of it. It's just who I am. I've accepted it. I can try and change it. And I have changed some of it over the years. Oh my goodness gracious. The dirt road is here. Dirt road says $99.99. And that's what he says. Here, Bucking. <laughs> Dirt Road, I love you. Thank you, buddy. What a support. Look at this guy. Good, good country. Holy smokes. You got to watch out for this good country living. He's a wild Canadian boy from over on the snowy part of town. The good country living. You got to watch him. He's moving and grooving. He's growing his YouTube channel. He's getting serious about this thing. Aren't you good country? <laughs> yes, you are, buddy. You keep it rolling. Keep her rolling, good country. Uh, hey, Dirt Road. Please say hi to your dad for me, Dirt Road. Okay, buddy, would you please? Seriously, say hi to your dad for me. And, and, and from my heart, and this channel's heart, and this community's heart, Dirt Road, I love you, buddy, and thank you so much for your support here. I'm being serious and honest. Thank you. You've been, you, you've been a phenomenal support to this channel, and you're still here, buddy. So thank you. I mean that. Bill Block, it's always good to see your name, buddy. Now you got this guy, Keith Sherman. Hello, Bucking friends. Hope everyone's having a great day. Mr. Keith Sherman, look at you. Keith, you're a wild man. Thank you so much. Thank you, Keith. And then you got this character, Brian. Oh, no way. Brian Gray. <laughs> I made it. Thank you for the comments on my Mac videos. Hey, Brian. Buddy, good for you, pal. Way to go. I love watching your Mac stuff. I, I got, you know, I got a few Macs, eh, brother? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Brian, thank you. Thank you for the support. Jim Fast, greetings from Belgium. Belgium. I love it from Belgium. Listen, we got to do something for Belgium. You can't just come on to Buck and Billy Ray's YouTube channel from Belgium and not expect a little treat. It doesn't happen that way here. Okay, Mr. Belgium? If you've come here from Belgium, you, you can't just, that's a long ways away. I gotta have something for you from Belgium. He jumped in his truck and he hit it on down the road, yeah. <laughs> Belgium, thank you for coming, buddy. <laughs> ah, that A flat sounds good, doesn't it? Good, good. Belgium.
I'd like to keep it rolling, but I don't want to hear that hum all the time. You know what I mean? You gotta love the you gotta love the people that come from all over the country, all over the world, and say, "Hi, Bucket. I'm from Italy, and Belgium, and Hungary, and Bosnia. I love it. I love it. I love it." Ah! Pilk Polk. Pilk Polk. So, friends, just so you know, I gave, we gave, the channel gave Pilk Polk a McCulloch power saw. And it's been sent off in the mail to Germany. It cost $134 to mail that saw, friends. And you people, you people helped do it with the Super Chats. This all goes around in a circle. Without you people here, I wouldn't be doing this like I'm doing it. Just so you know that. You make it possible. It's your input and your enthusiasm that, that helps move this channel. Just so you know that. It's not all me. It's you people, and I've said it forever. So thank you. Now, who's this character? Here's another one of these super chatter. Crazy Brett Sage. Brett, Canadian brother. Wow. Schneider Brenner, Buckin' Wood Stove. Rippin'. It's going to be a good time. <laughs> yes, it is, buddy. Jim. Hey, Bucking Army. Welcome, new subs. Love you. Jim Lachelio. Jim, are you freaking kidding me, buddy? Jim, I love you, pal. I haven't seen your name for a while. It's good to see you. Seriously, Jimbo. Yeah. Jim Lachello. I love it. Snowman. Heal heart. Heal. Dr. Fever, no freaking way. Look at these people. Nick Beam, River Jet, River. River, it's Uncle Bucket, remember? <laughs> yeah, Casterman. Moret Molina, I can't believe this. This is like old times, friends. What's going on? You guys are coming out of the freaking woodwork here. Michael and Julie, fourth day of surge, out of surgery, split. Uh, uh, five ricks of wood, yeah, left shoulder surgery, tune up. Only 31 stitches. Good for you, buddy. Do what they say, Moret. You know what I mean? Do all this silly little, all this stuff. Do it, brother. Do it. Do it. The rehab will be everything. You know it. And I know it. And everybody knows it because we're smart people here. We know things. Right? Yeah. Okay, what's this? Oh, oh dear. Oh my. Oh wow. Oh dear lord. That is a nice axe. That's a that's a Tasmanian plum. Somebody had a pin in her. But I oh it's this is nuts. Look at that sucker. You want to split wood with that? That's a Killinger handle. Look at the profile on that sucker. Hey, how's the phone, friends? That's a new phone. It's a new phone. Yeah. River Gentry, good to see you. Uh-oh. Something happened here. Yank Doodle, I would be so honored if you went back and read my last super chat. Well, you know what? I'm going to do that because I didn't even see it come in. Whoa, look at that freaking camera. Holy cow. Now, listen up here. Where, where, where did you... Hey, um, Yank Doodle. I gotta go back, Yank. Stevie Lutz, brother, love you. William DeBerry, woo! Carl Off-Road Grid. Terry C., good to see you. Ernest Swagger, stand still. Chris Beck, Owen Hill, Kim Wilson, Casterman, Nick Pixel. Woo! Dylan, Sandra Couch, the Brady on Cat Bird Hill, Anton Erickson, Heal Heart, Pilt Bulk, Longstaff, Longstaff, brother! <laughs> this is great! Sky the Tree Guy. Sky, how are you, brother? How's Chels doing? Hey, Bucking from Croatia. Demago, Demago! Croatia, come on. This is crazy. Dirt Road. Dirt Road, you didn't do that again, did you? I got to go back, friends. I got to find my buddy here. The, the, my Seth. 
Be kind, brother. Seth Wiley. See, I missed yours, Seth. Good to see you, Seth. Hey, you know what? Uh, that's as far as it goes. Hey, listen, uh, Yank, you're going to have to ask the question again. I'll look for it, buddy. It, it won't go back that far, bud. Hey, uh, Yank, I'm looking at your thing here. Ask the question again or please repeat the, what you said, okay? I can't go back that far. I'm looking. I'm waiting for it. Nikki Walsh, Bill Irwin, Peyton Armstrong, Casterman, Schneider, hey, Buckin, how much do your axes cost? A lot of money. Oh, a lot of money. Yeah, lots. 500 for sure. All day long, 500 bucks. Yeah, something like that. 500 bucks all day long. These things come from freaking, it cost me 100 bucks to get that head here. $100. Another 40, I'm already, I'm 200 bucks before even, I start even touching this stuff. I'm in it for $200 all day long. I don't play around with the, the silly stuff no more. Um, Yank Doodle, I'm looking for your comment and it's important to me and I want you to repeat it. Gainsies. Gainsies, I love you, brother. It's good to see you. Thank you for your support. We almost got 500 people here. I hope the thumbs up are at least 300, 250, 300. If they're not, you guys got to work on it. Let's go. Come on. Do it. You can do it. Gainsies, I love you. I can't find, I can't find my buddy. Where'd you go? Well, I, I, I'm trying to find my, but where did he go? Where did you go? Yank Doodle, are you still here, buddy? What's happening? Bill Massey. Hey, Bakken, go read your emails on your website. I am here for you. Trip Rogers, good man. I need your help, Trip. Interesting. Owen Hill, I love your positivity bucking. Keep it up. Josh Hickey. Yank Doodle, where are you, brother? McCullough Kid, good to see you. Kevin Keach, hey, bucking, just stopped in. How about some harp music? Kevin, you just missed it. Where were you, buddy? Come on, Keach. Kavich, Kevin Kavich. You just missed it, buddy. You have to scroll back a bit. And it was a good one. I still can't find Yank Doodle's question or, or his super chat news. Yank, I'm going to have to read it later and try and go find it, Yank. Wow. 511 people. Holy cow. You know what? I think we should play some more harp. Let's do it. Let's do another little harmonica solo because we got 500 people here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Educated climber. Educated climber, do the super chat. Educated climber, you're a wild man. Good to see you, buddy. Educated climber's here. He's a famous YouTuber. If you don't know who the educated climber is, pop over and see him. He's a smart guy, and he's a nice fella.
Kevin Kavich. Is that okay for you? Richard Hatfield. Jason Avery. We need to thank the Educated Climber for the Super Chats, friends. Wow, 516 people. Love it. Woohoo! That's when you gotta, you gotta, when you get 500 people on your live chat, that's when you got really gotta get excited. You know what I'm saying, friends? You gotta cap capture them. Instagram. Oh, hey, listen, I'll tell you something right now. Instagram? Yeah, no, it's not going to happen. I, I'll, I'm just going to tell you right now. Friends, listen, I put so much into this freaking YouTube channel. I actually do work too. You guys see me cutting stuff and chopping and cutting. So I don't just sit here on social media. It's not me. You'll notice I'll put a video up. I leave. I'm gone. I'll answer comments like later in the day, like at night. I actually do work and stuff, right? So uh, I, I don't, I don't, my Instagram, I post stuff on Instagram. I don't do business on Instagram. I don't take a lot of axe orders right now. So if you've made axe requests, thank you. Seriously, thank you so much. Uh, friends, you're looking at the dude right here. Plus, I was working on a project, as we all know, that kind of, kind of went, you know, it went the way it was supposed to go. Uh, the wood bullet is on hold right now. It looks like the, the cosmos and all the stars are telling me to go buy myself a freaking forge and a press and start banging heads out. Me and my old fallen partner. What do you guys think of that? You like that business? Or should I just, should I just hand it off to another? Uh, no, I can't do it. I learned from this last escapade with Jonah that I have to be closer to my stuff. I, I can't. Uh, these aren't usable. Actually, my latest ones aren't usable. I got four heads from him, and that's just, that's business, I understand. He tried, he did, he tried. He tried his best. It was too much for him. He got busy, and, and that's how that went. Uh, he's a nice young guy, but uh, it, when you're ever inventing something or trying to create something, you have to spend money and time. It rarely just goes, bang, and here it is. So this is just the cost of doing business for me. I'm not worried about it at all. It is what it is. Um, I did get, however, one good axe for me and one good one for Bear Claw, my fallen partner. So we do have the pattern that we can build from. So out of all that stuff we did with Jonah the blacksmith, the young blacksmith, we got, we got one, two, actually we got two out of eight. So we're good and it works. So that's good. And life carries on. Where's... I was talking to a tree guy this morning. Owen. Owen Hill. Great advice, Bucket. Owen, good to see you. Now, did that... Did my old buddy, Jeff... Jeff's building axes. I'd like to give him some business, friends. He's a tree guy. Works for August Hunnicky. Jeff Schroeder. You guys know who he is? He makes nice axes too, friends. He does. He's getting right into it. He showed me one today. David, Ryan, love you and your family from Ontario. Ryan, David. Hi, Ryan. Country 11. Melvin, greetings from Sweden. Bucken, what chainsaw model do you think you'd own the most of? Uh, McCulloch. I, I own McCulloch. But if you're asking me what my favorite usable uh, chainsaws are, it's, I'm a husky guy. I'm a husky and a Mac guy, and a pioneer guy, and a home life guy. I just like power saws, buddy. <laughs> Schroeder, where are you? Josh, how's the truck coming along? As a matter of fact, the truck's coming along good. 
I'm just cleaning my glasses. If you're wondering, you can't see my hands down there going. I'm not doing anything, you know. There, now I can see. Uh, Gainsies. Goats Firewood. Hey, yeah, heck yeah. I'm glad you got the claw to show his face. Yeah, no doubt. What do you guys think of my old fallen partner? That's him up there, right, friends? That old timer you seen on my channel the other day? That's him right there. About 30 years ago. Oh yeah, the man's the man's a beast. He's a freaking beast. You look 25, my dear. Not many climbing that age. Keep going. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Hey, hang on. Yeah, so I've decided with this axe journey, let's talk about this for a minute, friends. Let's, let's actually talk about this. I'm going to settle down. I'm going to, I'm going to slow down here a minute. And, and just, uh, I'm just going to mellow out. Just, just hang on a second here. Just a minute. Okay. There. Let's settle down. I'll, I'll take a breather and I'll settle down. Augustine just sent a $5 super chat and said, boot update on new boots they're not for me no no they're they, no they they just i have to be honest i can't nice family nice uh good people but the boots they they, they did they didn't work for me i i, I tried i tried and they're they're good quality the quality's there that wasn't an issue with quality at all they make good boots. Uh, I just, they didn't work for me. That's as honest as I can be. These are the boots right here that I live in. I've lived in these boots for over 25 years. Every day. Every day. Vibrant right there. And when I looked down at my feet and I saw this big platform, I just, the fit was good. They nailed the fit. They're, they know what they're doing. It's It was nothing about anything other than that. I just... You asked, and I'm an honest person, so that's what you get. How do you like that? Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Nick Pixel Yank. Oh, okay, here we go. Yank, because of you and all the rest of the good folks here, I'm probably be in the next street service. Yank, where are you? I'm crying out loud. Yank, I was trying to get your freaking thing. Donation for my still. Donation from my still, Web White. <laughs> Thanks, Web. <laughs> yeah, I love it, buddy. Good man. Good man. I like your still now. Thank you, buddy. Yank Doodle. I'm just going to sit here, Yank, until you repeat your question so I can see it. Brian Silver. Joshua, how are you? William. Tested approved. My boots look like those great boots. Tested approved. Bobby Brooks, good to see ya. Casterman, John Williams. Peter, fucking you're the sun in a dark day. Peter, I love ya. Peter, it's good to see you, buddy. Carson, how are you? Oh my goodness, we got 639 people, friends. <laughs> we got, listen, do me a favor, friends. Where's the Yank Doodle? I'm trying to get his question answered for him. Here's Buckin. Got some vids up. Okay, buddy. Good man. Good man. Chad, thank you. Scott Gagnon. Holy smokes. This is a freaking reunion. We got 639 up, friends. I got to go over on them tubs right now. Hey, Nick Pixel Christine, would you guys get a hold of that Yank Doodle and find out what he wanted me to read, will you? Please? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about.
excited. I can feel I'm a little haywire on the kit right now. I'm not in the groove. Okay, you guys probably found out the, uh, the, uh, Nick. Oh my goodness gracious. That drumming must have scared people away, eh, friends? <laughs> All right. Yank Doodle, I'm waiting for you. Glad to see you, Bucking Army. Kindness growing over the years. Nick Pixel, Bucking. My next super chat will be from Yank Doodle in his words. Only from him to you, though. Me, but from him. Okay, Nick. Stop super chatting, Nick. You don't need to super chat. I've been trying to... Justin, glad to see you bucking. Oh, yeah, awesome, Justin. You're a good man. Hey, bucking friends. Hope everyone's having a great day. Kenny, Keith Sherman. We got you, Keith. Good to see you, buddy. Um, Heal heart. Trip Rogers. Nick Pixel, I'm waiting. It could just be Yank if he would type, and then I would know. There's G. Carter Buck, and Nick is trying to tell you what Yank. Okay. Hey, Trip. Thanks for the jams. Always being positive and kind. Ah, right on. Yank. $50 from Yank. Bucking because of you and all the rest of the good folks here, I'll probably be in the tree service, environmental industry, the rest of my life. Appreciate great support from Buck and Army. Well, Yank Doodle, uh, Yank, buddy, I remember the freaking day you came to Buck and Stock. You showed up at Buck and Stock and we had, whoa! Oh, oh my goodness. Don freaking Clayton. Gosh, he freaks me out when he does that. Yank. Buddy, uh, you remember when you got that bullseye with that axe? You remember and I threw the, threw the axe backwards and I got the bullseye? And I remember that when we shared that moment at Buck and Stock? And you came up to me and you said some words to me? We had a moment? I'll never forget stuff like that, Yank Doodle. Never. Ever. So I love you, buddy. And uh, you got a good heart, pal. And, and you're, you're going to do good in the tree service. You are. You're going to do good in the tree service. And I'll support a man like you any day. So thank you for supporting this channel and this community. This is what this is about. Yank Doodle, what you did. You went with your heart. You've made some major changes over the last couple of years. Major ones. And you did it for you, for your heart. You didn't care what anybody else thought because this is your life. You might not make people happy, but what, what are you going to try and make people happy the rest of your life and suffer? Friends, you want to know something? When I got my head straight many, many years ago, I'm not even going to read comments right now because I'm talking to you. I freaking... I, I, I was with my, my girlfriend at the time, who's my wife today, okay? You want listen to this, that's what I'm talking about. We were party animals, and I was in a bad way come the end of my days. I was, I was ready to take myself out. I was. You've heard this story before. Drugs and alcohol didn't work for me. Or it worked real good, one or the other, I'm not sure yet. But I got my head on straight. I put all the substances away and I went back to my, my girl and I said, Wendy, listen, I, I, I'm done. I want, you, I, want, I want you to be my woman. Please come back to me. I'm done. I'm done the bad stuff. I, I, I want you to come. I want, to, I want you to come. Come with me. Let's quit and, and have a life of spirituality and, and live good. And do you know what I said to her? I said, but I got to tell you something. And it, it was hard to do. It was hard to do, but I did it because the last thing I wanted was for her to go away and never come back. But I did it for me because I knew I couldn't live like that. I said, Wendy, I can't have you drinking and drugging. We need to go clean and sober the whole way, me and you, or it's not going to work. I can't have you coming home at two in the morning with wine on your breath. I can't do it. I made that decision for me. I made it out of love. Not fear. If I had made it out of fear, I'd, I'd have said, yeah, you carry on drinking because I'm afraid to lose you. No, I made it for me. 
She's got 23 years just like I do and we've had children out of love. Our whole lives changed after that. So Yang Doodle, I know you've made some big, big changes and I'm happy for you, brother. And I know you're smiling. So thank you. I know that was a spiel and I probably missed about 500 comments, but I don't rightly care. Don Clayton, I love you. Dirt Road, thank you. Yank Doodle bucking because of you. There it is right there. I got it. Ah, Yank. Tree service environment, the log and type stuff the rest of my life. I appreciate it. Yank. Good man. I love Dirt Road. Just throws down the, the 99.99. Stevie Letts. Holy smokes. What happened here? Oh my. Chris Limitless. Bucking, you know what time it is. Giveaway time. Oh, <laughs> oh, limitless. You don't stop, brother, do you? Okay, let's get that square. Dragon's Pick. I have a clip of your last live in my video. Is that okay with you? Here, some help for Bellhopper's 550 project. Oh, Dragon's Pick. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, thanks for the super chat. Yeah, I don't... You know, that's a, that's a tough one, buddy. I, did, did I? I think I, I think I watched it there. Dragon's Pick, let me let me talk to Nick and those guys. Uh, and let me talk to my team, because I, I don't know about that stuff that much, buddy. I honestly don't. I don't see a problem with it. But, but let me just ask the proper questions, because I'm a man who lives off his heart. And it's gotten me in trouble before. And I know you're a great man, Dragon's Pick. I know you are. And I don't think there'll be a problem with it at all. But just let me get this square over this next few hours and we'll get back to you on it. Okay, buddy? Thank you, pal. What's going on here? Look at these. Look at Craigular. Look at Don. Don Clayton. Hey, Don. Don Clayton, are you still here? You said something last week and you scared the pants right off me. I I, I don't recall you ever speaking on the line. <laughs> Don's back to his old ways, friends. Just here, bucking. No words. You gotta love Don Clayton. Dean McGarry. Dino. Dragon's Pick, you're welcome, buddy. What's going on with this? Oh, my goodness gracious, Rico. Oh, my. Hello from New Zealand. Love the videos. You're a nice guy. 300, 300 freaking New Zealand dollars. Nico, what are you? Do? Rico, Rico Dykstra. Rico, brother. That's huge, buddy. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. You people. The super chatters. You you I'm telling you, you people. I kind of man. Snowman, how are you? Look at Danny Williams. Thank you for the positive vibes you bring to the world. Man, Greg Schultz, good to see you. Augustina, Augustine, Nick Pixel, Rico Big, I know, right? There's Don. Where's Don Clayton? Don, give me something, Don, will you? Don, say, oh, there he is. He's right there. Don, I'm here, Bucket. I figured out that I'd learn more if I speak less. <laughs> Mr. Clayton, you are one smart devil. You are. You're a smart son of a gun, you are. And you're absolutely right. That's what I always learn the most when my mouth is shut. That's a true saying, Don Clayton. I love you, buddy. David, uh, love you, Bucking. Are you from Canada? Yes, I am. Ask us, sir. Yes, I am. I'm a Canadian and a proud son of a gun, too. Oh, my goodness gracious. Stevie, let's, you think you're pretty sneaky, don't you, buddy? Look at he puts a little shh. No, no, nice try, bud, Steve Latz. Nice try. You son of a gun. Steve, are you working on Max? Steve Latz, 
Are, are you are you working on McCulloch's right now? I saw you looking at my rump. I saw it. Anglo-Saxon, don't be shy. Hit the thumbs up button. Thumbs up. Jeff Calvin Bucking just got in from pushing snow. It's good you made it back in alive, brother. Todd Bucking. How close is the boiler company? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know that. They, I don't know. I'm not sure, buddy. Jacob Smith. Maybe you'll see this one. Oh, first 50 was for present. Whoa, wait a minute. Jacob. Jacob Smith. You son of a gun. I, I, I believe I said something on the first one, Jacob. Jacob, thank you so much. Maybe you'll see this one. First 50 was for pressing. Are you kidding me? Dude, I'm, I'm not joking about that, eh? I, I can't, how can I, how can I do this? I, I hate to say it, friends, but, I mean, I don't, I, friends, what? I can't, what? I mean, I can't have that. I'm not, I don't even, anyways, Jacob, thank you. I, I'm looking at a press. I, me and my old fallen partner, he's going to retire from falling. I'm going to put him on the press. Me and him are going to do it. We're going to buy a forge. We're going to do it. We're going for it. Jacob, second 50 was for Samaritan. We sent them 500 bucks last week. Jacob, did you hear that? Jacob Smith, you're wild, man. I'm sorry I don't get these right off the hop sometimes, friend. They come in, so I, I, I just, my heart's so full. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you so much. Um, Jacob, did you see that? Did, did you see that post I put on the community, community page? We gave them freaking, we gave them 500 bucks last week to the Covenant House. So thank you so much. They're loving us right now. And it's for a massive cause. Jacob Smith, you're a good man. Thank you. Oh, my goodness gracious. Now, there's a freaking throwback right there. The Wood Nerd. Oh, yeah. My buddy, the Wood Nerd. Friends, the Wood Nerd was one of the first that bought the 20 axes. He got one of the first 20 axes. With the Wood Nerd. Brother, I love you. It's great to see you. I hope your spirits are good. I truly do, buddy. Great to see you. Yes, I work on them all, my friends. I grew up small engines. Right now, I'm working on a 1010. I'm giving it to Nick Pixel. Oh, cool. Cool. Very nice. Nice. Stevie, that's, that's great. Have you got enough power saws there, Steve? Have you got... Do you, you, got, a, you got enough saws? You need another saw? You can't be the only one giving stuff, Steve. You don't think it don't work that way, buddy. You can't get away with giving. You never get away with giving. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> Watch yourself, Stevie. It's coming. I will buy the four axe heads. They're not fixable. They're not. I'm just telling you. You can't... It, they're not usable. It's it's the cost of doing business. I get it. <clears throat> 16 years old, friends. 16. You know, we we tried. 
we, he, he's a nice young guy. There's no problems. Don't get me wrong. There's no problems. It's, it's all good. It's just the facts. They're, they're unusable. I, I, can't, I can't use them. They're, I got two. That's all I need. So I'm going to get a press and a forge. I'm doing it. See, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it four years ago. I had nothing. I had no money to do anything like that. But the YouTube channel has grown. You people are here. These messengers of kindness. YouTube pays me to make videos now. I still work cutting trees. I don't charge a lot, but I still work cutting trees. Why wouldn't I do something like that? I want to get these freaking things. I want to get these things to you guys. That, that was my dream. Whoever's been here for five or six years, you know I talked about this. I talked about doing this. Give me a heck yeah if you remember me talking about this. I went to freaking Sweden for crying out loud. I gave the first axe I ever made to a young lady named Cynthia. I gave it to her. Snowman, Buck, and be on the lookout for your unboxing coming soon. Ah, oh, Snowman. Yeah, so the axes, friends, what's going to happen is I'm just going to stay on the, the high, upper echelon of stuff. I can't, obviously, this isn't a mass production thing. I can't do it. I'm one man. I want to make special axes. I want to engrave handles. I'm talking splitting it. I'm making a splitting axe right now. The wood bullet. It's right here. I got my freaking stamp. Look. Look at that sucker. Jonah helped me get that. So some good things came out of me and Jonah working together. And I'll tell you what those things are. I'm going to put my hands on these. I'm going to put my freaking hands on a forge and a press. And I'm going to do it. That's one good thing. And the second good thing is a 16-year-old man is booming in business from, from hooking up with me and doing business. He's doing great. These are good things. There's nothing bad about this. So please don't anybody think that. That's not what this is. Bill Park. Don Clayton. He didn't go good. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't do no good. That man from New Zealand, I love you, buddy. Thank you so much. That scared me. Rico. Rico, I'm going to put that towards the forge. I hope you don't mind. Rico, is that okay? Or do you want it to go somewhere else? I'm going to do this. I'm going to go up. We're going to, friends, there's, there's some crazy stuff's going to happen here. I didn't ever think I'd get Bear Claw on my channel. I never thought I would. I, I, I Honestly, I didn't think he'd ever let me film him. Well, we're going to be smashing axes out, me and the claw. That's just one of the things I want to be doing. But I don't want to be Mr. I don't want to be Liam Hoffman or this guy that bangs over a forge all day long. How am I going to travel and throw bucking stocks and inspire the world? How am I going to do that if I'm hunched over a forge? I can't. And that's what's in my heart. It's helping people get their head up out of the sand and look around and go, I belong here. I'm going to do something with myself. I'm going to do it. I've done some bad things. But I can freaking get rid of that. I'll hand it over to somebody. Somebody greater than me. I'll give it away. And I'll ask for forgiveness. And I will receive it instantly. And I won't have to grovel to anybody. And I can hold my head up. Stick my chest out. Walk down the street. And look life right in the face. How you doing, brother? How you doing, sister? Let's rock together. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what are we doing here, friends? Why are we here? All I have is my own story, friends. That's all I have. I was going down. I was going down hard and fast. Like, going down. I pulled myself out. I did. There's my boy. He's got a coffee for me. That kid, I love that kid so much. My kids are amazing. Rita and Hogan, my life. I never would have had none of this stuff if I didn't quit drugging and drinking. None of it. Zero. I was going down, I swear to you, right now. These kids were born out of love, sobriety, and everything. They just... It's like the big fellow was waiting. He just slapped me on the can. He said, get back there. You need to live. Thanks, buddy. Love, love it. We're having a good one. Yeah, right on. Looks like you got your chair and everything. I know. Not bad, eh? Sean, I can see your text. Sean Barrison. 
Uh, yes, I can. I can see your text, buddy. Absolutely, I can see it good. Can you see my text button? Sean Barrison. Yes, I can. Yep. Franco Carota, that's right. I pulled myself out of the bite and I fixed my old stove up and she's just roaring. You see that? You see what came out of me sobering up? My stove lift. Ha <laughs> ha, Franco. <laughs> Wood nerd. Hey, Bucket, how many axes have you built? I'd buy a th number of 1,000 if it was a Walters. Hey, listen, buddy. I got a treat for you. I do. And, I, and this is no joke. This... this only me and me and the wood nerd will we're the only two people that will understand this. We are. Bill, this is how much I love you, and this is how much I'm practicing to detach from materialistic things. I'm always working on something, friends, within myself, okay? You see that thing right there? You know what this is, Billy Boy? Wood nerd, you know what this is? I know you know what this is. This is an amazing, an amazing Walters, Montreal or Hudson's Bay, probably Montreal. We've talked about this head, brother. Look at that thing. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, I know it should, Billy. I know it should be with you. <sighs> I don't know why I do these things. G. Carter. G. Carter. G, how are you, my friend? Keep an eye out on your front step. Your axe is coming. It's coming. Billy the Wood Nerd. Do you want me to haft it for you and make you a bucket special, or what do you want to do? Because I'm, I'm most comfortable with that. You, you want me? To, you want me to slap this something together for you and send it in the mail? Because it's yours now. <laughs> yeah, I'm giving it to you. What am I going to do with it? I got lots of axes. This is a beautiful specimen, wood nerd. It's yours. Here, you take it. Larry. I love how you inspire people. Larry, I want to inspire people. I think I do. I think I think that's why I got saved out from, from getting hit by that tree. Honestly, I do. And I'm not a religious man. I'm not. I'm not a religious man. But I, I had an experience when I was out in the bush when I got hit by that freaking tree. I had an experience. I went somewhere. And I, 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 I can't explain it. I can't explain it. And I'm not even going to go there right now. Nick Sager. Nick Sager. Nick Sager. Thank you, Don. Thank you, Don. Thank you, Don. Nick, good to see you. Now, D D Don, Don Clayton, oh my goodness, you did not just do what I, what's, oh, oh, he did. He did, Mr. Don Clayton. When I was flapping my freaking gums, Mr. Don Clayton decided to throw a few more shackles down. Hey, Don. And you left it blank. You didn't say nothing, Don. You just dropped a couple of, and who's this here now? It's the wood nerd with a 50 spot. <laughs> and who's this now? G. Carter, Bucket, thanks for the energy and the love you spread in the world. You are all, we are all better today because of your efforts and endless energy. G. Carter, I'm trying, brother. I'm trying. I'm not stopping. Look what I got. My boy brought me a coffee. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? That's lovely. G. Carter, I love you, brother. Larry, Larry, thank you for your thank you for your support, Larry, for the super chat. Thank you, Casterman. More for the forge coming online. Ah, thank you, brother. Trust me. Forges are made about forty five minutes from my house, and me and Bearclaw are jumping in the crew cab, and we're going down there, and we're buying a three burning forge. Then we're gonna wire his shop. It used to be a bull barn for horses. We're going to throw 220 on it. Then we're going to buy a freaking for, uh, a press. We're doing it, friends. I'm doing it. Forget it. 
I want to bring these things to you people because they work like crazy. Just talk to a few people that have used them. Bear Claw wouldn't yank on your chain. That guy's he's salt of the earth. Himalayan salt. Casterman, thank you. Web White, always joke when we are busting oak. Crotch is a hickory, that's it be great. To have a friend like Buckin and his Buckin special around. <laughs> Web White, thank you, buddy. What a good guy you are. Thank you so much. You people, uh, honest to goodness, I can't keep up. Here's a donation for shipping Wood Nerds beautiful Walters. Chris Limitless, you're, you're such a thoughtful person, Chris. Thank you so much, buddy. I know I've missed some, haven't I, friends? I have, haven't I? Please help me thank these people, friends. Can, can you guys help me thank the Super Chatters? Because I, I, I can't. It's so hard. A press or a trip hammer? Well, Billy, to be honest with you, probably both. Probably both. But I'm going to start with a press. I am. I'm going to start with a press. Uh, for a few different reasons I won't go into. Now, get this straight right here. Uh, to say that I have zero blacksmithing experience would be wrong because I do have a little bit. I went to Sweden to the GBA factory, Grand Sports, it's on the channel, and I made an axe in a coal forge and hammered it out by hand and tempered it and did the, the, the whole thing. So I've done it once. That's it. That's my experience. So there is going to be a learning curve. But I will guarantee you this, nothing will leave this place unless it's right. That I can guarantee. Old Bear Claw, he won't let nothing go out. That man's meticulous. I can just see him right now with his glasses in there with the pre Oh, he's going to love it, friends. Friends, he put that axe in his hands? It's on the video. He put that axe in his hands? That man has been... Well, that, there he is 30 freaking years ago, right there. Friends, he, he's a freaking woodman. The woodman song is about guys like Bearclaw. He's been splitting wood his whole freaking life like me. Actually, he said something about being 15 or something like that. So I don't know. But anyways, he's 70. That's 55 years he's been wheeling an axe. It's the best axe he's ever swung. This thing right here. That thing, right there. And actually, he's got the he's got the better one. I gave that one. Did you guys know that? We gave him the Axo 2? Yeah. I think this is... I think he got 03. He got the best one. The heaviest and the best angle. He's got the best one. We gave it to him, friends, the other day. From you guys. Right? Yeah. From you guys. CR Ranch Works. Here's to the new exciting times ahead for you and us. Hey, C4, thank you, buddy. It's going to be no joke, friends. This is going to be fun. I'm going to travel when this world changes its diapers. I'm going to travel. I'm going to go all over the place. I'm going to go on journeys. I'm going to inspire people. I want to inspire people. I can inspire you through here. Yes, I can. But I can inspire you more when we're in the same area. Like eye to eye. Yeah, where we can hug and talk. Yeah. I'm a wood guy. Starting a forge this year though. Good man, Casterman. Bucking, what's the rarest power saw in your collection? The rarest? Gosh. Black and bitter, dirt road landing. Ha <laughs> ha. I'd have to think about that. Rare. Well, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, actually, you know what? I think I can answer that. Look at these people supporting me. Oh my gosh. You made me a better sawyer. Eric John Honudman. Can't. Thank you enough. Eric, brother, thank you so much. Sincerely, thank you. Honestly, you don't have to do that. And thank you for doing so. Thank you all so much. 
Blues Jam next, Buckenstock. Oh yeah, right on, Chris. Nick Pixel, Inspire. Ignite the fire. Nick. <laughs> Every Sunday, my throat's freaking raw from yelling. I love it. I love it. CR, C4 Ranch Works. What a good guy you are. Thank you, buddy. Ted Barrick. Tracking shows your little power saw Mac 6 in Canada somewhere. Keep it real, buddy. Ted. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Mike Fleming, just because, Bucking. Mike Fleming, what a good guy you are. Stand up and buck. Naster, 0814. Omulus, thanks, Ted. The mad one. Hey, everyone. Johnny, how are you? This is like a freaking reunion today, friends. A total reunion, isn't it? The mad one's here. Don Clayton, I can't believe this man. He goes again. Don Clayton, I think we're going to be going down within, the way this is going, I think we're going to be going down within the month, probably, to get that forge. I'm. This is rolling now. I'm not stopping. I'm, I'm, got, I'm, I'm doing it. Bear Claw's ready to go. The wiring's going to be the problem. He's got an old barn up there. we got to get 220 to his shop. I'll take you guys up there. I'll share it with you. If you guys are interested in this stuff, I, I, I'm going to do it. And I'll, I'll show you what's going on there. It's amazing. It's going to be an amazing blacksmith shop. But it's going to take time. I don't know what Bear Claw, I don't know if he's, I, we haven't really taught. We were in business before together, friends. We, we, we bought a bucket truck and a chipper. I had the chipper already. And, and me and Bear Claw bought a bucket truck. $50,000. $25,000 for him, $25,000 for me. And we bought the truck. We were in business together for a few years. I remember. I can't remember because I got smashed by a tree. He packed me out of the woods. And then when I got off my, you know, when I was able to roll around on the walker thing, I went to the bank. Did you guys remember this story? Does anybody remember this story? I had nothing. Zero. I was so afraid, friends. I was so afraid. I didn't know what was going to happen. I couldn't walk. There was gray area. I didn't know if I was going to be in a wheelchair. I was laying in the basement of this house. My kids were little. They were falling down the stairs. I couldn't do nothing about it. Nothing. I was useless. That was the lowest point in my life. Right there. And when I, you know, was down and out about drinking and drugging. Those two times. When I got off my, onto my roller, onto my walker, Four months later, I rolled into the bank. My bank, I've been banking there for 10 years at the time. This is the true story. And you guys have heard this, some of you as I know. But for some of you who haven't, this is exactly what happened. This came out of sheer fear and, 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 and instinct. Nothing more. Nothing more. I was not going to lose my house and I was not going to lose my business. I fought tooth and nail for it. Worked seven, eight days a week, and I wasn't about to lose it. I literally, friends, I literally, I rolled into the bank on this, on this walker thing. I sat down in the chair. I'll never forget it. I was sweating. My, 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 I had sweat pouring down my face. I was sitting there smashed, a crippled 160, 160 pound bashed up man. Couldn't even walk. And I looked at the man across the table, the bank loans manager, and I said, Brian, I remember his name, Brian Anderson. Was it Brian Anderson? I think it was. I said, Brian, listen, I, I don't have much time because I can't sit here that long. I, I need to lie down, but I'm going to tell you something right now. I've been with you for 10 years. You see me here right now? You see what's going on here? I says, it's temporary. 
I need to buy my partner out. We bought a truck together and I don't have any money. I need to buy him out. I need you to lend me 50 grand. And I'm going to tell you something else, Brian. I've been with you for 10 years. I've never missed a payment, not one. Not a, not a mortgage payment, not a bill, nothing. 10 years. I said, Brian, if you don't give me this money, someone else is going to. That's how I said it to him. I swear to you, I'm not embellishing anything. I said those words to him. Friends, two weeks later, there was 50 grand in my bank. He phoned me, he said, Bucken, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm doing it for you. I never missed a payment. The payments on that loan were $1,000 a month. I saved my business, friends. I almost get choked up thinking about it. Almost. Almost. I called Bear Claw. I said, Bear Claw, come down here. I got a check for you. And I wrote the check for $36,000. And I gave it to him. And I said, uh, thanks, bud. Thanks for your help. I said, I'll be back. I'll be back. So don't, don't, don't talk to me about a sore back. Don't tell me about your sore back. Everybody's got a sore back. Everybody's got a sore back. But I'm not the, I'm not the person to talk to you about a sore back. You can do it, man. You can do anything you want. You can do anything you want in this world. You just got to want it enough. You got to want it enough. That's it. There's no, there's no, there's no recipe. There's no get rich scheme. There's hard work, honesty, and giving. That's what there is. There's three things. Hard work, honesty, and giving. That's my story in a nutshell right there. That's it. Give. People don't give because they're afraid they won't have. Well, they're actually thinking 100% backwards, 180 degrees. When you don't think, when you think you don't have, that's when you give and expect nothing. Because if you expect something back, you've just ruined it. You've just sent out the wrong energy. It goes around, it bounces around, it doesn't know where to go. It's in, the, it's in purgatory. It doesn't know where to go. You give for giving. That's it. Nothing else. You've all heard this stuff for years. You know you have. Uh, I'm getting excited. It's karma. That's exactly what it is. It's a natural law. There's laws in the universe. There's natural laws that occur in the universe. Gravity is one. Karma is another. Call it what you want. Call it the secret if you want. The secret ain't no secret. And it ain't, it ain't a new, it ain't some new story. It's a freaking universal law. And if you do, if you do bad things, well, <laughs> where's Schroeder? Where's Jeff Schroeder? Jeff, where are you? Are you on here or what? I know I missed a bunch of people. Tin Man, how are you? Robert Dillon, Vince, we're shooting for, we're shooting for September at Decal's place for Buckingstock. That's what we're shooting for, but that's going to be up to, up to the powers that be. Firewood provides Northwest. Favorite coffee? Just coffee. Strong coffee. Amen, Bucking. Don Clayton. Don, this is your fault. Don Clayton, this is your fault. See, this is why... This is why, friends, I can't, I, I can't, when people support me, I, I can't, I, I don't like even talking about it, because it, people on YouTube, they get, a, they get a bad rap, you sound like a lunatic, people say, what are you doing supporting this guy, <laughs> you know what I mean, people don't understand, they don't get it, and you don't hear me saying, I'm like, oh, I'm up at 2.30 every morning, why don't you try to run a YouTube channel, why don't you show me your videos? I don't bother. I got no time for it. This is my choice to do this. It's my choice to do videos. As many as I can for you people. It's not no one else's choice. I don't complain about a sore back. It was my choice to go fallen. I knew I could have got killed every day. It was my choice. 
So I'm here because of me and my choices. And you are in your position in your life because of your choices. So as soon as you drop the blame game or blaming your childhood or blaming your parents or your brother or that guy that did something to you when you were a young kid, blaming that guy, get over it. Get over it. We've all had it happen to us. Get rid of it. Don't pack it around as some excuse to stay negative and stay stuck in your life. Vice Grip. Hey, is Vice Grip here? No way. Don't tell me he's here. I miss that guy. I've been trying to get a hold of him. Vice Grip, are you in the house? Vice Grip, I missed you a couple of weeks ago about an axe. Are you here, buddy? Wait a minute here. I don't want to miss him. Oh, there he is. Okay, you dirty freaking dog. I've been trying to get a hold of you. You son of a gun, ya. Oh, this is crazy. Vice Grip Garage. Man, I love your stuff, buddy. Friends, if you don't know who Vice Grip Garage is, the guy's great. Go over and see his freaking channel. He's awesome. He's got great content. The guy goes and pulls freaking dead vehicles out of fields, fires them up, starts them, and drives across the country. My kind of fella. <laughs> I love it, buddy. I love it. Hey, Vice Grip, are you serious about... Did you... Did you ask for an axe last time you were here? Hey, Billy, Ben Bolger. Ben, how are you? Brian Gray, just wave your bucking video either while I was streaming this. Oh, yeah, right on, brother. Good deal. Yes, I need an axe ASAP. Oh, okay. Done deal. What do you need? I'm waiting for your next comment. Tell me what you need, brother. You know what we should be doing, me and you? <laughs> what you and I should be doing is uh, the phone thing, the texting. Do you do the WhatsApp? Bite script? Is it, it's Derek, right? Do you do, do you do, just freaking get a hold of Christine, please? Could you, um, Vice script, could you email Christine at buckandbillyray.com? Is that right, Christine? Christine at buckandbillyray.com. Vice Grip, just do that for me and give her your phone number and I'll text you after the stream and I'll figure out what we can get for you for an axe. Oh yeah, this is the stuff. This is the stuff. Okay, good man. Good man. Uh, yeah, okay, good. Vice Grip, good man. Sounds good. BuckandBillyRay.com, or if you want, just go uh, Christine at BuckandBillyRay.com and give her your phone number if you're okay with that. She's my right hand, Christine. She'll give me your number and we can text. It'll be easier. Vice Grip in the house. Good man. Good man. I thought I was a little nuts for you. I wasn't sure you were coming back. Cuckoo. <laughs> I actually thought you were Canadian, to be honest with you. Yeah, there you go. Christine at buckandbillyray.com. Casterman, thank you. Casterman just put it up. Good man. Thanks, Derek. Okay, that's over. Let me get my head straight again. Where's Billy the Wood Nerd? We got Billy, are you still watching? Wood Nerd, are you still watching? Where's my Wood Nerd? There's Pepe, 64 wheel drive. Pepe, Shane Smith. Josh Smith. Jacob Smith. Jacob. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. Buddy, I love you, Jacob. Thank you, buddy. Jack Murphy. Hey, there's Jack Murphy. Jack. My name's Jack Murphy. I work for the precinct downtown. Jack. Jack Murphy. Maybe you've heard of me. <laughs> ah, Jack. I love that name. Jack Murphy. <laughs> Oh, Jacko. Hey, guys, long time no see. Hope you're all good. Jack Murphy. Jack. <laughs> oh, 
Jack, I love you, brother. Oh, man. You're my favorite Canadian, Rick James. Rick, thank you, buddy. Good to see you. Shane, bucking the live videos make you wild. I love it. Yeah, I know. I get a little crazy. I saw your Facebook post about the firewood, Shane. Oh, that must be for someone else. Look out, Jack. Special Agent Jack Murphy. Yeah, that's right. But he's more of a... I, I picture Jack Murphy as kind of a kind of a Harvey Keitel. You know what I mean? Kind of wide Jack. Jack Murphy. Kind of a, a bulldog head, you know? Big, big, eye, big eyes like, you know, the Neanderthal Jack. Jack Murphy. He looks at you over his, eye, over his eyebrow there. Jack. Jack Murphy's the name. Slaying humans is my game. <laughs> Goat firewood. Billy Ray, what climbing gear would you recommend for someone to get started climbing? I would recommend you go to Weaver. Go to Weaver. I do have links on some of my fallen videos. And buy a 1085. It's like riding a freaking couch, brother. It is. Weaver 1085. Things wicked. Wicked. Easy to use. Love it. The drifter still drifting. Yes, he is, Jake. Nathan, Jack Murphy. <laughs> I love it. Oh, man, you guys. Now, 1085 coach. Yeah, Nick Pixel. It's true, isn't it, brother? Nick, Nick, did you get one? Wow. Oh, Zane. Hey, buddy. Hey, there's Nicole. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Bucken. Thank you, Bruce Manley. I received my shirt. Donate to the Be Kind Funds. Hey, Nicole. Did you get it? Thank you, Bucken. I received my shirt. Oh, Christine and the Manleys. Thank you guys so much. I love giving stuff away. Hey, speaking of giving stuff away. Wait a minute. Hey, uh. Good country. Good country. Did, did we give you a shirt yet, good country? Did we? Give me the straight goods on that. I need a climbing instructor to come tell. I'll be there, Nick Pixel. Take it. Let's just wait. I'll come and help you out. We'll get, we got to get them trees in your yard down, brother. Don't cut those down. Wait for me. I'm coming. I'm serious. Uh, where's good country? Heck yeah. Okay, so you got your shirt. Okay, good. Because we got to give a shirt to somebody from Chris Limitless, right? Um, oh, Butler Outdoors Canada throws down a super chat, $5, fixing up an old buzzsaw on my channel. And all advice is welcome. There you go, right on Butler Outdoors Canada. Thanks, buddy. Thank you for the super chat. Um, okay, good. We did get you one. I'm in the tree right now. Ah, don't know what to do. Getting cold. Pixel, your joker. Friends, listen. Did you guys, have you guys been over to Nick Pixel's channel? Did you see his latest video about him wrapping up that still 500 eye for me? Have you seen it? It's funnier than heck. Please go see it. Nick Pixel. He's in the, he's in the freak. He's the moderator here. Go see Nick Pixel. Go subscribe to the guy. If you're starting up a new channel, the guy's a freaking wizard. He'll help you. He's helped me so much. Nick Pixel, you're a good man. Friends, let's go support Nick Pixel, please. Go to his channel. Give him a freaking sub. Nick Pixel. There's 576 people here. If you don't get 10 subscribers today, we got problems. <laughs> Who's this? I've missed Super Chats. I know I have. Vice Grip, what do you do when you miss Super Chats? Do you feel bad? I do. I wish I could see everybody. Got to give one from Joseph. Healed Heart. BMX 410. Hey, Bucking. Glad to see how much channel's grown. Community IB and social media. 
In a while, had to put it down, but I'm glad to see you're doing good. BMX410, thank you very much, buddy. Keith Sherman. Keith Sherman, what are you doing, you crazy guy? Keith, you super chatted again, you crazy guy. And he says nothing, just throws a 25 spot down like a wild man. Keith, I love you. Thank you so much, buddy. Love the videos. I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you. Hello from VT. What's VT? My 10-year-old and I love to listen on Sunday for great motivation. Abby English. Abby, can we get your son a shirt? Abby English, can, can we get your 10-year-old a shirt? What size would we get him? Christine, can we get this young fella a shirt? What have we got for him, Christine? Abby. Abby, can you email Christine at buckandbillyray.com, please? I want to get your 10-year-old your a shirt. And maybe we should give you one, too. Yeah, let's give them, them his mom and him a shirt. Please, Christine. Love the videos here in Ireland. Ben Bulger. I love your positive attitude and work ethic. Mark, thank you, Mark. Chapin, Chapin, Mark. Thanks, brother. Love you, Bucking. Asa Sr. Asa. Thank you. Love you too, buddy. Jack Murphy's here again. Hey, Bucking. Being here a few years now, could you tell the story about the first falling accident you had if you ever get a chance? The first one? Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was horrible. I, I will. I'll tell it again, Jack. I won't tell it right now. But uh, that, that, I deserved it. It could have killed me. A couple inches to the left, I'd have been dead. And I'm not maximizing the story. I, 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 I'm telling you right now. I could have been dead. But I wasn't. I'm here. So that means I should not have been dead. I've been pulled out of the bite more times than I can even freaking begin. All I know is I love cutting trees. I wasn't broken in. I was a green guy. I was self-taught. I had bad habits like you wouldn't believe. I'm talking bad, bad habits. Not good. One got me. Bear Claw pulled me out of the bush that day too. He drugged me out of the bush. It was awful. I broke my back, my, my knee, my, my, my ankles were smashed. My, it was awful. Awful. It was like a fly swatter. And, and, the, and the worst thing was... Uh, that I, I did it myself. I set the trap and I walked under it and it got me. Falling right away. Falling road. Stupid. Stupid. It hurt my pride more than it hurt me physically. And that's the straight goods. How's that, Jack? Amanda High Life, gotta get, gotta take off to get some firewood split. Have a good day, everybody. Love and kindness from Alberta. Amans, Armands High Life. Armands, thank you for the super chat. It's appreciated big time. Love it. Okay, uh, I missed what happened. Uh, was it Abby? Did you are you did, are you going to email Christine for a shirt for you and your boy? Where did you get the suspenders, Killinger? Killinger. I'm behind here, friends. I got to do something. I'm behind. Hang on. I'm just going to shut this off. Boom! You're gone. I can't see. I can't see nothing here now. All I can see is this. I hope these freaking thumbs uppers up are up there somewhere. Where's Jeff Schroeder? Jeff, are you in the house? Is anybody can anybody get a hold of Jeff Schroeder? Okay, now we're gonna be caught up. Here we go. Okay. Got it. 
Now we're back caught up. Abby, yes, thank you. You're very welcome, Abby. Jeff Wilk, no way. Jeff, Buckin, you sent me an email. Buckin, you sent me an email to me this week. It meant the world that you took the time to do that for me. Jeff, you made the decision to be a good man. You made the decision that granted that email. You're a good man, Jeff. I respond to love, brother. That's all I respond to. This year, and I said it on January 1st, I do not respond to anti-positive things. I don't. The perfect example, I wish I got it on film. Hogan and I were in the trailer park cutting trees. This is the straight guts. I was looking this way at the trees. A lady came from behind me, and I heard this. Hey! Hey, you! I heard it. I knew she was there. I ignored her. She was yelling and cursing. I ignored her. Completely ignored her. Hogan was in the tree. shut us off. And he said, yes. She says, I'm going to grab my rifle. I'm working the night shift. Yes, this just happened. I'm going to grab my rifle. It was 11 o'clock in the morning. We were cutting trees. I didn't even turn around. Took me a minute. I don't respond to negativity. I feel energy, and so do you. It's called being in tune. I will not respond to anti-positive. Zero. I started to laugh, actually, when she talked about grabbing a rifle. I started to laugh. She was looking at my bum. I was bent over, and I was picking up brush, and I started to laugh. So now she's hearing me laugh at her, and she's looking at my bum. That's what she got from me. Seriously, how does this feel? <laughs> how does that feel? Yeah, that's what you get. That's what Antipositive gets this year. Yeah. Oh, I'm telling you straight goods. This is how it's got to be. This is what I'm trying to preach to people. You know what somebody said to me? It was funny. Love wins. Yes, it does. You know what somebody said to me at Buckenstock? We laughed our faces off. I wish I remember who it was. It might even have been Jolkum. Jolk, Jolk. He come up beside me. Somebody came up beside me. I wish I knew who it was. Might even have been Adam. They said, you know what you are, Bucket? I said, what? He said, you're the backwoods preacher. Ha, 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 ha. Friends, I, I, I listen, I, you got to laugh when it's funny. That was funny. We were walking up to the, to go up to the thing there, the backwoods preacher. I just howled. We both laughed our heads off, arm in arm walking up. I forget who said that to me. I wish you were here right now. Man, that was funny. Arr. Thank you, Kim Wilson. Preach. <laughs> David from LA. David, Dave Slinger. Love the kindness from the UK. Stay safe, everyone. Dave Slinger. Chevy, 40, 1944. That is so true, Buck, and so humble man you are. Wesley Gibson. Luke, greetings from Midwest. Levi Collins, the absolute favorite part of my day is when I get time to watch your videos. Levi, you're a good man. Thank you. Hit the thumbs up, brother, when you're watching. Let's share some videos this year, friends. Hey, if you like something, let's share it. I don't know where you share it to, but let's do it. Let's start spreading a message. Jeff is here. Oh, Jeff's here? Jeff Schroeder's here? Schroeder, where are you? Show your face. Pilk Pock. Lord Mark. Lord, good to see you. Casterman, start a channel. Chevy, Jeff. Okay, where's... Where's my buddy? Where's Schroeder? Dang it. I hope I didn't miss him. Oh, there he is. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Schroeder, you were looking for an axe from Bucken. I remember you talking about it. You're making some nice axes yourself, brother. I like it. I like it. It's good. Now, listen up. You said to me 
that you wanted to buy an axe, Jeff Schroeder, right? You did. Well, you're not buying it, Schroeder. You're not. No. But I will tell you something. I like you, Jeff Schroeder. I do. I like you. I think you're a good person. And I know you've had your trials and tribulations, just like old Buck and Billy Ray here, right? Yeah, you have. I know you have. Well, I'm going to tell you something. You reached out to me and you said you wanted a bucking special 28-inch handle with a tazzy head on it. That's what you told me. And you told me you were ready to pay the money. I know you did. You told me that. Well, I'm going to tell you something, buddy. It's not happening. You're getting a freaking wicked axe is what you're getting. I may as well just sit down because my knees are aching today. Buddy, I'm going to tell you something. I've had this tool out. I got a whole bunch of these, buddy, and I wasn't about to just give you some uh, something that you couldn't wield and crack some wood with, okay? This is a plum, buddy. And it's freaking wicked. It's a plum USA. Check this thing out. Look at it. Look at that sucker. What do you think about that? Hi, honey. Is that my is that my lunch? What is that? Oh, is that yogurt and berries? And granola. And granola. Thank you, babe. Oh, incredible. Jeff Schroeder, my wife just brought me my freaking granola and 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 berry and fruit and yogurt. Yeah, she did. She's amazing. That's the woman that I said, listen here, woman. I want you as my woman. But I can't have you coming home drunk. This is 20-something years ago. 23, 4 years ago. I said, I want you badly. I don't need you. I don't need you. And if you're going to continue drinking and drugging like we were going on, then I'm not having you. I, 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 I'm not having it. It took her a month. She was in the bar one time after work. She worked in a, in a restaurant. And she was drinking a, a glass of wine. And one of her friends came up to her, Mr. Jeff Schroeder. Came up to her and she said, the guy said to her, he was a guy that drank at the bar. And he says to her, where's BR? Where's Billy Ray? And you know what she said to him? This is amazing. She said, he told me that uh, if, I, if, I, if I was going to be drinking, he, he, didn't want, he didn't want to be with me. And you know what he said to her? What are you doing here? He did. He said, what are you doing here? It hit her like a, a truck. It hit her like a truck. She came back to me. She came back to me. She came back a month later and she says, I, I want to do this. She said, I saw something in your eyes that day. She'd heard that story from me 50 times. I'm quitting drinking. I'm quitting drugging. She heard it 50 times. That's why it wasn't hard. It was not easy for her. It was tough. Trust is built. She said to me, there was something in your eyes that day. Friends, that same principle goes for you and here and my commitment to you people. The same commitment to my wife is to, is to here, to this channel, that my heart is true as can be. I want nothing but good for the people who are part of this channel and people that come here. I'm just that dude, but I don't want to come here flapping my gums like this all the time because you get... You get labeled as a lunatic. I'm okay with being called a lunatic. I'm okay with that. But I have to be careful. But once in a while, I need to tell you folks that this channel is not all about cutting trees and axes. That's my vehicle to spread love and kindness in this world. And I am going to make a difference in this world. I am. <clears throat> I'm going down swinging for love. I am. I'm going to build this channel big. I want a million subscribers in short order, and I need your help. We need to spread love more than ever, people, friends, men, women, children. We do. Come on. Let's do it. Let's, let's, let's just be nice to people. 
Just be, do something for somebody. Give something. You, you think you, you, you're attached to it? You, if you give it away, you won't have it? Well, this, that's true. You won't have this. But you'll have something else. <clears throat> A heart that starts to grow. So anyways, Jeff Schroeder. I'm telling you right now, this is one of my finest axes. Yes, it's got the hole from the pin in it. I'm not putting it back in there. I'm not putting it back in there. This freaking axe, Mr. Schroeder, uh, it's a Killinger handle. I don't think you're going to see that. Maybe not. Maybe this will help. Yeah, it will. This always helps. See that? There's a little trick for you. Look at that. Look at that pinky. <laughs> Four and a half pounds. This is a five pound tool. Actually, six. Let me see. It's a five pound tool. Including that little 28 inch hat. That's skinny, Mr. Schroeder. It's skinny. Okay? So listen, Mr. Schroeder. You know what I was going to do? This is what I was going to say to you. I know you were prepared to, to, to give money for this axe. I, I know you were. Would you do this for me, buddy? Or you do whatever you want. I'm giving you the axe. I'm giving you the axe. But this is, here's an opportunity. Here's an opportunity for this energy, for this giving energy into this tool, into this freaking tool to come to you to maybe go somewhere else. Maybe some groceries for, for a single parent or, or maybe you could, I don't know, Jeff. I don't know. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but you ain't giving me nothing. I don't want nothing for it. The, the, the giving energy needs to go somewhere else now. So it's in your hands. That's your ax. That's how it goes. That's a freaking wicked tool, Jeff. I, I, man, it's nuts. I don't want your money. You're a tree worker. You're a hard working son of a gun. I don't want your dough. You're no, your money's no good here, bud. No, it's no good here. Bucket, I got some money. Some money for you. Let me tell you, Jeffrey, your money is no good right here. <laughs> no, it ain't good. Congratulations, Jeff. Greetings from Poland. Adam. Adam, good to see you. Thanks for popping in, brother. Wow. Hey, wait a minute. What happened there? Nicole, I need I needed to watch you today. You, what? You're so inspirational. I was having a bad day. Thank you for turning it again. I'm smiling again. Nicole, you're a sweetheart. You are, Nicole. I can see it in your little face in your little picture there. You're a sweetheart. Don't forget that. You are. And if you think that you've done some bad things, like I said a few minutes ago, just drop down, give it away, say, hey, I'm so I'm sincerely sorry. I'm sorry. I will not do that again. We, we're sorry when we stop. Okay, no, sorry became shut. I should have just been saying shut up to my wife. I know that sounds horrible and that's not what I mean. But sorry. I said sorry so many freaking times. I'm sorry, honey. I'm so I should have just been saying shut up because I didn't want to hear it. I know that sounds terrible, but that's what it became. Sorry meant nothing. Sorry's when you stop doing it. That's when you're sorry. So I stopped and I started to build and create this man. I wasn't a tree cutter at, a, at friends. When I, when I sobered up, I was 26 years old, 27 years old. I was not a tree man. I was not. I followed my heart. I followed my dreams and I followed my passion. I quit my job and bought a 1969 McCulloch's power saw right there. We call them mucklucks. And I bought another one and I threw my 
pickup truck and they put the saws in the back of the pickup truck and I went up the mountain in the morning because I started work at noon at a freaking men's clothing store in sales and I was good at it. And in my mind, one day I was going to own my own clothing store. Yeah, of course you were, Bucking. That wasn't me. I'd go home from work. I'd have a shower. The freaking water came off me cleaner than it went on. It wasn't right. I started selling firewood. From 6 in the morning, I'd go up, get the firewood, fill the truck, come down, and friends, I'll never forget the day I remember where I was. I jumped into the freaking shower. I had freaking cuts all over me and freaking calluses and stuff. And I jumped into the shower and freaking water was brown. And I was like, oh man, this is it. This is what I've been missing. This is it. I can't explain it. It, it. it brings freaking tears to my eyes thinking about it, friends. It, it was that simple. I just needed to, I needed to do work. I needed to get physical. I needed to, I needed to do something rather than nothing. Oh, it was that easy. I wish I could, I wish I could just explain that to men. It, 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 it's that simple. If you, it, 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 money has nothing to do with anything. Your job, if you're in an office job, and get your hands dirty. Get some physical energy out of your body. I just needed to do it. So it saved my life. Power saws saved my life. Axes. I wield, I've been wielding an axe since I've been in kinder freaking garden. Cutting kindling and, and my wood for my mom and my my stepdad's wood stove and then they split up and then it was me and my mom and my brother. And we lived out in the woods and we forged for firewood because our house was built around a wood stove with no electric, no oil, nothing. Wood. That's what we had, a wood stove. So this stuff goes deeper than you may think showing up to this YouTube channel, listening to this guy flap his gums about whatever. This thing is in my freaking chest. It's in my heart and in my spirit. These things are... What's it all about? What's it all about? What are we, what are we, what are we doing? What are we doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing? Are you happy at your job? I haven't looked at these messages for 15, 20 minutes. Hey, wait a minute. Is that, thanks for being a kind feller. Whoa, vice grip, you're kidding me. Ha <laughs> ha, hey. What are you, friends, look at vice grip. He threw me a hundred bucks. That's like 200 down here in Canada. Ha <laughs> ha Hey, thanks buddy. I appreciate that. Friends, did you guys thank Vice Grip when he did that? Or is he still here? No. Who's that? Don Clayton. Don Clayton, the silent man. Don <laughs> oh, Donnie Clayton. Vice Grip. Thanks, buddy. Thank you for that so much. Vice Grip Garage. What a good guy. What a good guy. And here's uh, Darnell McKay. Much love for Manitoba, Canada, bucking. Keep on bucking. Yeah, keep on bucking is right. That's going to be one of our next shirts. Keep on bucking. Do you guys remember that? Yeah, we're going to do it. <coughs> Sorry, friends. I got, a little, I got a little crazy there on you. I got a little emotional. Sorry about that. I get going sometimes. I just don't care. I, I, I don't care. But I got to go back here for a minute. Don Clayton, what are you doing? Don, you've done... Don... John, you did another yard and a half here. Mr. Clayton. <laughs> Don. Hello from New Zealand. Love the videos. Okay, we, we got our New Zealand friend, Rico. Wow. Dave in LA. Dave in LA. Why are you called Bucket? Uh... Jeremy Bartlett, hey Buckin, really appreciate you, thanks. Uh, uh, thank you for all the help, knowledge over the years. I'm much better filer because of you and your, okay. You're welcome, buddy. Get the gullet, brother. That's what it's all about, getting the gullet. 
Bucket, kudos to you, brother, for giving Wendy the wisdom to overcome the demons. Yeah, she, uh, she made it. Don. Hey, Don McNeil. Don, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, Don. Don McNeil. I love it. Wendy's McNeil, MC. Yeah, yeah. Brendo's Auto Power. Brandon McCarthy, I love your videos. Pokey Bear. I'm just cleaning off my glasses, friend. Simon Brown. Luis Batista. Hey, Bucken. I will, I will now get old Husky 268. Excellent. Crazy old dear Lord. <laughs> Brad Walworth. Brad, I love you, buddy. It's good to see you. I miss you, Bradley. Henry, plaid jacket. It would be nice to have some nice dug fur to separate today. Yes, indeed it would. I just finished smashing a whole bunch apart there yesterday. I enjoyed it. But this, I, I, unfortunately, it's a shame, friends, because this one here, no, not that one. This one here, no, not that one. This one. I, friends, I just hafted this one yesterday. It was from Jonah. And I thought it was the only one out of the four I got that I might be able, that I, that I, it might work. No. No. But hey, you know what? We had a good experience, me and him. We tried it, right? It got me on the road. But it, it, it did, it didn't work. The, 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 the profile's wrong. So I don't know what I'll do. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Told you that, didn't I? Yes, you did, Mr. Shabby Truck. Man, I can't believe you people. If I've missed your super chat, this is me saying thank you for the super chats because I know I've missed some. I'm sorry if I did. I truly am. Thank you all so much. Get in there, Pat. Good to see you. T-shirt saying, got a buck. <laughs> Greetings from Cologne, Germany. Savan D. Savan from Germany. Good to see you, brother. Hey, Bucken, what's the best saw you've ever run? Have you, you have inspired me to get into the tree business. The best power saw I've ever run is a McCulloch 125 Super Pro. Hands down. Just like Led Zeppelin's my favorite band without a doubt. 125 Super Pro. All day long. All day long. Look what my wife brought me. How do you think I could do this? I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be a lot skinnier if I didn't have my woman. I love that woman more than we are the best of friends. People used to say to us when we were together before we quit all the craziness, we were so nice to one another. Every day I came home from work, I brought her something. And, and we'd be in, in a group of people. I'd say, honey, can you grab me? You know, whatever. And she'd say, hey, babe, can you grab We were doing things for one another, always doing things for one another. There was never any power struggles. There's no, no ego trips going down. It's called love and respect. I love and respect my woman. My, my woman. Here you go, honey. Let me get that. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Treat people how you want to be treated. It's very simple. It is very, very simple. <laughs> is it not? Of course it is. <laughs> it's not complicated. But it's usually the inner, inner demons or people's baggage why they take their life out on people. If they're not happy with themselves, how are they going to be nice to you? If they're going around thinking they ain't worth nothing or if they've done bad things and they think they, you know what I mean? They're packing that around. We'll get rid of it. Take the journey from up here to down here. It's about 12 inches, but it could take years, but you should start. I've enjoyed the journey thus far. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, time for a little snacky poo. Bucking, we haven't heard bullseye in a while. You might not be watching the videos. <laughs> My stomach's growling right now. 
She must have known. Bucking, we haven't heard bullseye in a while. Mmm. <laughs> Joel Brown. Joel. Joel likes vice grip too. Joe Sarah. I don't know about everyone else, but I like this. I think this is the best part of the week. Love these live feeds. There's so much positivity and light. Joe Sarah. Well, there's enough of the other stuff in the world. We gotta brighten things up, friends. That's including you too. You gotta you gotta help me brighten it up. Nick Pixel, Casterman, US plus five. You guys gotta help me. You know what I mean? US plus five. The comments in the live feed have made my whole weekend. The shout outs from all over from my little one are amazing. Hey, you guys gotta help me do this. I can't just do this alone. I need you guys to help do your part. Share the video, share the love, be kind to people. Open doors, hold the door. How's it going today, buddy? Come on in. Come on. We bleed the same colors. We may as well, you know, what are you going to fall in the ditch? Are you going to look at the color of the hand reaching in to grab you? No, you're going to grab on. Let's get it straight. Starving, my gut's going. I gotta nibble. I gotta get a couple things in me, friend. I've learned so much watching these videos. I've never filed a chain until I saw Billy taken out. Good. Robert Bradshaw. Robert. Yeah, it's out loud. It's warming up in here. I was getting hot. I was getting hot because of this sucker. Steve Letts. Okay, that's it. That's it. It's over. Stevie. That's enough. Friends, let's thank, thank Steve Let's Let's take just a couple minutes, please, friends. Please, w would you help me with this? Can we just thank the Super Chatters as a whole right now? And the messengers of kindness that, that help out monthly. There's a little donate button. People have been going into that donate button and setting up a little monthly payment of like five bucks or ten bucks or whatever it is. 20, who knows? What, they just do it on their own. They go there and they do it. I didn't know you could do that on PayPal until months or well, actually years ago now. Cynthia was the first one who started it. Well, there's more people doing that. And they're called the Messengers of Kindness. And they're on the website, buckandbillyray.com. Can we thank the Super Chatters and the Messengers of Kindness right now that help me do the crazy shenanigans I do? Please, friends. Let's thank everybody. Yeah, it's going to be good. Silver Badger. From Texas, Caesar. Stevie Letts is a wild man. Thank you, Nicole. Lord Mark. Thanks to all the people who support the channel. Yes, thank you, Lord. Christine is amazing. Hi, Pokey Bear. Hey, who's that guy? Yeah, I did have a couple smart taxes, Cone Jones. Cohen's Jones, I did have some. I got rid of them.
Friends, let's, uh, yeah. Thank you all so much for doing that. Christine, I love you. Nick Pixel, Super Chatters, Moderators. So, what we're going to do, friends, Larry Steed, good to see you. Isaac Wallace, good to see you. Pilk Pulk, Matt, Matt Lenhart, Bill Massey. Wesley Gibson, Bucking, can I put an order in for the first axe that comes from your forge? Well, <laughs> probably not, Wesley. I, I'll, I'll be very honest. I, I'm, I'm not one to shine anybody on. Probably not. Um, I, I don't want to get ahead of myself, brother. All I know, all I know, I said it, I've been saying it for five years. This tool, honest, honest to goodness, friends, this tool gave me purpose. It gave me my life back. Friends, I was literally going up a tree and I wasn't coming down the same way I went up. If you hear what I'm saying. It, 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 it was bad. My life was bleak. And those things and power saws saved me. They saved me. I never used to like being alone. Then I got to know myself and all I wanted to do was go to the bush. Talk to me about that. What's that called? Talk to me about that. So I'm, I'm doing this. We got to get power. We got to get 220 to the shop. I don't know what that stuff costs. I don't know, but we're going to do it. We got to get power. We need a forge and we need a press and we're going to do it. We're going to do it. The mercury is getting worked on the, uh, on the weekend. It's coming. Next, Tim Refill on my God bless. Samar. Samar. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Thank you for the super chat. Wow. Andrew, Andrew Scott started watching for the power saws. Wasn't expecting to change my life. <laughs> Friends, did you hear that, man? Did you hear that guy? Andrew Scott started watching for the power saws. Wasn't expecting to change my life. He sends a saw buck. Andrew Scott, brother. Thank you, buddy. Seriously, Andrew, thank you so much. What a nice comment that is. Buddy, I'm happy for you, brother. I swear, I swear. I, this is what it's about for me, buddy. Right there or not. That's it right there in a nutshell. If you found something here like that, brother, come to Buckingstock. That's all I can say. Buckingstock, trust me, if, you're, if you pick up on energy, you want to come to Buckingstock because I'm going to be, it's going to be ripping off me. It's good. You're going to feel me coming from a couple hundred feet away. You will feel me coming. <laughs> You're going <laughs> to. It's true. <laughs> oh. Isaac Wallace, Bucking, you've got me thinking. I think being in the forest all day. Being on my own, learning to love myself so I can love others. Isaac, it's, it's, it was the way for me. That, that's all I can tell you. I'm not going to go deep on you, Isaac, brother, but that's what it was for me. I needed to find me. I needed to get in tune, brother. I was flailing. I was freaking flailing. I had all this freaking energy, brother. You know what I'm talking about? Me. I was drinking and drugging and... I was a mess, a complete mess. My energy was like, 
a freaking Tasmanian devil. I was all over the place. Doing backflips off the stage in the bar. Just reckless. Reckless. And I, I found it. I found it. I found it. I did, buddy. So good for you, Isaac. Good for you. We need to hook Bucket up. What? G-Man. We need to hook Bucket up. G-Man, you've already hooked me up, brother. You and the Pokey. You and the Pokey Bear. Thanks for... Oh, hey, did I miss something? Oh, I did. Oh, I, I did. I missed Indiana Doug or something. What, 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 what's that? Did he sue? Oh, yeah, there you go. Um, for the two members that didn't have the finances to give, you know who you are. Indiana Doug. Hey, that's nice, Indiana Doug. Thank you, buddy. Cha-ching. Well done, Indiana. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate your support, pal. Friends, I sure hope you guys can help me thank these people. I go off all over the time. Oh, there's G-Man right there. G-Man. G-Man, you son of a gun. What did G-Man do? G-Man said 20 for 220. 20 for 220. <laughs> hey, thank you, G-Man. Casterman, Samaritan House. Done. Casterman, thank you. Done. Steve Letts. Bucket, I'm a soldier. I was medically discharged. I was lost when I got out. Ever since I... Being here, I, Buck and I'm a soldier, I was medically discharged. This is Steve Letts, friends. He was medically discharged, lost. Uh, I was lost when I got out. Ever since I've been here, I have now still be that soldier, now fighting without a gun, but with kindness and love because you and everyone here. Oh, Stevie. Isn't that wonderful, brother? Stevie, isn't that lovely? That's, the, that's the, the biggest measurable force in the world is love. It is. You can feel it. You can. You can feel it. You can feel it. You can see it. You don't have to be smart. You don't have to be nothing. You can pick up on it. It's love, brother. Good for you, Steve. I'm so happy that you're here, buddy. I am so happy you're here. You're an awesome dude, man. <laughs> Your channel, all the stuff you're doing, don't stop, Steve Letts. Don't stop. You're doing a good job. You are. Lyle Davis. Yes, it may depend on how far they have to go to get power to bring into the old barn. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm going to check that out this week. I'll talk to Bear Claw this week. I'll go up and see him. Uh, Jeffrey Rubis, Billy from, uh, Billy from Philly. Christine Buckenstock is where Snowman grabs you and gives you bear hugs. Ha <laughs> ha! Christine, isn't that the truth? Hey, Christine, have I missed anything from you today? Nick Pixel Casterman, Lyle Davis. Christine, talk to me. Have I missed anything from you today? Because I'm looking for you now. Look at this. I can't even believe this. Stevie Latz, you savage beast. Christine, where are you? Phenom One. Stevie, God bless the project. Porteous, Bucking Army. Patrick Porteous. Joseph Eagle. Joseph Eagle Plume. Joseph, how are you, brother? Joseph, did I hear something about you? Joseph, did you... Did I hear something about you, Mr. Joseph Eagle? Christine, what did he do? Todd Thayer. Hey, there's Todd. You're the man bucking. Love to you and the family. Casterman, Phenom, me, myself. Say hi to my husband, James, in Rochester. He watches you all the time. We're watching now. He wants you to make him an axe. James Dinapoli. Dinopoly. It's Dinopoly, isn't it, James? I said it right, didn't I, buddy? Dinopoly. 
I ain't no pretty logger. I'm not just a pretty, pretty woodcutting son of a gun. Let me tell you right now. I'm intellectual. Dinopoly. How do you like that one? <laughs> James, how you doing, brother? Everyone has hit the like button. Hit that sucker. Anton Erickson. Friends, hit the hit the freaking like button, will ya? Donated a shirt. Mr. Plume donated a shirt. Eagle, Eagle, you didn't have to do that. Thank you, buddy. Hey, Mark, Mark, the electric isn't for the forge, buddy. It's for the press. I'm buying a press. I'm, I'm not playing around. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to struggle. I want to get these things to you guys, gals, women, and children. I'm not joking you. This is no joke. I, I'm, I'm getting a press. It, it needs 220. It needs it needs power, not the forge bar, the, the press. And the hammer. We'll get a hammer maybe, but I don't know. I, I, I'm mainly setting this up for Bear Claw so he can get at this, the both of us. But mainly, he, it's going to be at his house. I ain't got the room. Mike Cantrell. Ricky Elvis Rose. Ricky, how are you, bud? Jim Rigney. Hey, Billy wants some new drumsticks. All the best. I like drumsticks. Jim Rigney. Do you, do you drum, Jim? If I wasn't 2,500 miles away, I'd wire your 220. Yeah, well, we I'll find out this week what it's going to be, but we're doing it. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not playing around. I've played around too many times. I just put a new carb on my truck yesterday, a brand new one. Uh, you know the guy that's got the Merc? He came and helped me put it on. Ryan, great guy. The new axes are purdy. Thanks, Dave. They're going to be rugged. Bernadette Gordon. Hi, Bucking. Here's a few Buckins for wherever you see fit. Hi from my husband, Bob. He loves your show. This is what I love, Bernadette. This is what I love right here, Bernadette. When a man and a woman... Decide to be life partners. You love that Bob so much, don't you, Bernadette? Hey, eh? tell me you do. You do or you wouldn't be doing this for him. I love when a man and a woman do things for one another because they love one another. There's no power struggles. It's just, if you're better at doing something, you do it. And if he's better at doing stuff like mowing a lawn and getting the firewood and killing the rats, he does it. Bob does it. <laughs> I just love it, Bernadette. You're a sweetheart. <laughs> love it. Bobby, I love you, brother. You got a good woman there. Darn good woman. Healed heart. I think you're freaking awesome. <laughs> Heal, I love you. Where's Heal's axe? Oh, I got it around the corner. Yeah. Cosmic Sponge is going out this week. Probably Healed Heart, you're actually be going out this week too. My wife is better at being smart one. Ah. Swampland, hey Buckin. I'm seriously thinking about starting a side business in the tree service. Patrick Farrell. Good, my wife is better. Pepe, thank you, Joshua. Anton Erickson, we need more drumming Buckin, do we? She loves you, too. Oh, thank you, Buckin. You're welcome, Heal. You deserve all the success that's coming to you, Billy. Ben Bolger, you deserve all the success that's coming to you. 
Is there success coming? What do you mean? Ben Bull, you deserve all the success that's coming to you, Billy. Is there success coming? Wow. That are you you know something I don't know, Ben? You been talking to the big wigs at YouTube or what? <laughs> Whoa, Con 44, no way! Climb 44, I love you, brother. Good to see you. Climb 44, I love that name. Brad Woolworth. Man, you guys have been here a long time. Wow. That's amazing. Thank you, Climb. What a guy. William Bowen. Buck and Billy, you rock, brother. Bowen, William. I try my best. That's all I got, brother. It's just me. That's it. You rock too, William. Thanks, buddy. Shifter. Shifter's speech was hilarious. <laughs> Neil Cassidy. Love you, buddy. Phenom. Buck and you make my heart happy. You've changed me for the better. I wish all the best that this world has to offer for you and your family. Thanks, Phenom. Max Dobson. Finally made it to a lie. What's up, Buckin? Max, lots of things are up, my friend. Lots of things are up, brother. Mark Nairn says the gullet works. Yes, indeed it does, unless you're square grinding. Then you don't have to worry about it. Paul Joyce. Billy, how you doing, champ? A bit late from the UK. Ah, Paul Joyce. Good to see you, Paul. Good man. You're like a young Jim Carrey. Oh, really? Ben Bolger. Oh, I love you, Ben. I appreciate it, buddy. Barabot. I'm eating granola. I'm eating uh, yogurt, granola, and berries. Or fruit. My wife did that for me. See, I'm 51. I used to be, I used to be, a, I was a scary man. Even after I got smashed. Friends, I thought it was over for me when I got in that, that fallen accident. I had my can smashed right off me. I atrophied from 180 pounds to 160 pounds in short order. I had stuff going on. When I got hit. It's the only reason I'm standing here talking to you now. The doctors told me that straight to my face. They said, Bucking. <clears throat> they said, I got to be honest with you. If you weren't in the shape you're in right now, you'd probably be in a wheelchair. And they weren't joking. Friends, it was horrible. It was horrible recovering from that accident. I was just telling my, my friends out here in Yellow Point, when I finally got to sit at the end of my, at the side of my bed, you know, when I could, when I could finally, uh, you know, cause I laid flat for like three or four months. I forget three May, June, July, August, three, close to four months. I laid flat with a brace on my, a Jewett brace. Then I would, I would get to the side. My wife would help me get to the side of the bed and I would sit like this. Can you guys see me with my hands? Look, I want to show you this. So I had the brace on so that I couldn't go, you know what I mean, like this, because my lower back. So I would sit like this at the bed, okay? Just listen to this for a second. This is why I talk about the ball, the core. Your core is everything. Your core is not up here. That's not your core. Your core is freaking down here. It's, it's like way in there, under low, right down low in here. Your core is way in there. I'll tell you something. I was sitting here, and I was sitting like this, in pain, of course, scared to move, scared to fart, scared to sneeze. There's an interesting story. Let me tell you about that. I don't know why it didn't happen. Must have been the big fella again. I don't know. Remind me. Here's the deal. I'm sitting here like this. 
as soon as, as soon as I lifted my arms like out, well, think about that for a minute. So what's happening is, is there's weight now. Weight is, it instantly transfers. I'm just trying to make it straight to you. It transfers to your core instantly. When you start, when you make a decision, if you're sitting like this, if you're sitting like this, relaxed, and you think your brain sends a message and you think to go, what's the first thing that engages? Tell me. It's your core. It's your core. Think about it. You go, eh, eh. everything is, eh, eh. it's your freaking core, your center. So the, the, my hands, the weight of my hands, it was like this. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, back in. That's where I was at four months later. It was, it was horrible. <laughs> I'll never do that again. Hey, Bucket. I got my hoodies. Oh, yeah, we match today. Stevie Letts, yes. I want to see them on your videos. Tasman, I love that you wear my shirts on your videos. You and Charlie, I love it. G-Man. James, Jeremy Bartlett. Jeremy, what are you doing? They don't sell 200 T's. Okay. Bucket. Jason Nelson just opened up a tree service in New York. I just want to thank you for giving me a kick in the pants. To follow my heart and just do it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough. Jason, brother, good man. You're a wood man now. Don't wear gloves, brother. Build up your hands. Cool, Jeremy. Yeah, cool. Hey, if you know somebody that's a good saw porter, get one of them freaking echoes, man. Those little T25 or whatever the heck them things are. Grab one of them suckers. They're good. They're good saws. Dale, Dale Jantz got a power saw, 650, what's that? I got a 650 out of the dump, what's that? Does that mean it's 65 cc's? Put a 28 inch bar on it. Hi Scotland, Lyle Davis. Hey, Buckin, if you don't mind me asking, what's your weight and height? Because you seem like one mountain of a man. I'm not, actually. I'm an average-sized man at about 5'10". Probably probably close to 200 right now. I'm about... I'm probably... I'm probably packing... I'm probably packing 10 to 15 pounds that I don't want right now. I'll just be very honest with you. I am, and I am going to lose it. I don't talk about it very often. I, I was talking about it a while back, but I just decided to shut up. Um, I'm 52 and, and things have changed. I spent a lot of time editing and that's why I'm physical as much as I can be, but I'm, I'm gonna have to, something, I'm gonna have to change something because uh, I, I wanna get down a bit. I, I, so I'm close to 200 pounds, I, I am. I'm 5'10", about 200, if that makes sense. So I'm I'm I'd like to be a buck eighty to be honest. One eighty five, one eighty five would be nice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, who's that? It's my buddy Bling Bling. You got to be kidding me! Sending some love and sawdust from Norway. Love and care will get you a long way. All a man's works are art. 
all of all man's works of art, a cathedral is the greatest. A vast and majestic tree is greater than that. Henry Ward Beecher. Indeed, my friend. Indeed. Hey, thanks for the support, brother. Good to see you, bang, bang. Joshua Holland, I'd love to know your opinion on using a bar bigger than your recommended bar, Max, for a Husky I have, 433, 435E, recommended bar is 18. I want to have more, I want to, I want to have a 20. Throw a 20 on it. That's only two inches, buddy. <laughs> Throw a 24 on the sucker. Throw a 22 at it. It, it's recommended. They, they used to give, do you know that, do you know that a Mac 10, friends, seriously, they used to give max bar lengths for old saws, okay? Maximum bar length for a 1010. Who knows what that is? There must be a thousand of you out there that knows what the max bar length for a 1010 is. It's 54 cc's. Who knows the answer to that? No, you're way off. Doug, and you guys are going the wrong direction. No, Ryan, too far. Nobody's got the right answer yet. Brian Gray figured it out. It's 28 inches. For a 54cc saw, it says it's in all the literature. Maximum bar length for a Pro Mac 1010. 28 inches. That's why I run 28s on them, all of them. If you've got a 50cc power saw, if you know how to file and you know how to run your rakers right, you can freaking run a 24 all freaking day. Stand up and freaking buck people. Come on, give it a shot. Don't live other people's blabber. Live your own experience. Have your own experience. Buy a longer bar, throw it on, but learn to file or you're gonna be stuck in the mud. It's all in the filing, friends. It's all in the filing. Yeah, I mean, Brian, hey, listen. There's there's other variables, but I, I was down in Indiana at, at Buckingstock, okay? And uh my buddy Decal had a 28-inch bar on his on his Pro Mac 1010. And we were setting up for Buckingstock. And I was wondering, because he had that ash there and, and hickory and maple. And he had all them logs there. And I filed that sucker up. Just how I know how. I just filed her up through the raker gauge on there. Sucker gobbled that wood. Freaking gobbled it. You got to you gotta know how to run a saw. You don't just dig the dogs in and start laying on the sucker. Let the power saw pull itself. You've actually got to hold back on your saw, friends. If you know how to file a power saw, you've actually got to hold back on it a bit. Lift it up sometimes. Not just lay on it or one hand and drop it. I got some great footage coming your way, friends. Ho, 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 ho. That 572? Ho, 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 Donnie Walker did some... It likes to be run up high. Up high. How long we been going, friends? How long we been going? Tell me. I can't see it. It feels like about 2 hours and 11 minutes. That's what... I, I don't... I honestly don't know. That's my guess. 2 hours and 11 minutes. So that's 60... 60, 120, 131. How many minutes have we been going? Two hours. Two hours and 25 minutes. There you go. I was off by about 13 minutes. Pretty good, eh? Not bad. Not bad. That's being in tune, right? Yeah. I always know what time it is, too. It's weird. Friends, we got to go. We got to wrap this sucker up. We do. Listen. Per 
personally, ugh, personally, I think this has been one of the best live feeds we've had in a long time, friends. Would you not agree? Give it to me straight. Give me a heck yeah. Come on. I'm going to put this right here so that I can look at you people and talk and just go straight like this. Don't, that's, that was a good live feed today. I feel good about what happened today. Really good about it. I think we, I think we touched some people. I do. Um, I want to thank the super chatters today. I, I want us all to thank the support today was, was crazy. It's crazy. Don, Don Clayton, you're, you're always a monster. You're, you're a monster. We got to do something special for Don. We got to put our craniums together. You're all special. Every freaking one of you are. But that freaking Don Clayton, those heavy hitters and them people, that's a, that's a lot. And, and what a blessing to be in that position. Don, thank you so, so much. From the bottom of my heart, brother, seriously. All the super chatters, thank you all. You're all special and you all really help the channel. It does. Um, Christine. I don't really have the words for you, Christine. I don't even know what to say to you right now. You're in a lot of trouble, young lady. <laughs> yeah, no. Super chatters. Thank you. Moderators. I feel so drained after one of these things, friends. I do. I feel like... <sighs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Think about three days of buck and stock. You don't want to miss that. Friends, listen, I'm just telling you. I don't even know what's going to happen this year. We're planning for it. Vice Grip Garage. Listen, friends, do this. Pixel, are you going live? Nick, talk to me, brother. Spit it out. Heal heart. I love you. John Williams. Mark Naram. Henry. I will. Okay, Pixel's going live. Friends, it's gonna the party's carrying on over at Nick Pixel TV. The moderator. The wild man. Friends, I want to support this dude. I want to see his subscribers go up today. Nick Pixel. He is a great man. He's a good man. He helps people for nothing. He's just out of the goodness of his heart. I give him the odd ball cap just because I feel bad for him. You know, he's kind of, you know, he's got to eat dinner. He could sell the hat or something. Maybe put it on eBay. I don't know. <laughs> I'm losing it, friends, as you can tell. Nick Pixel, I love you, brother. <laughs> friends, I got to go. All the people that came here today. New Zealand, brother, thank you so much for your support, everybody. I love this. Big hugs. Let's do this. Share. Let's do it. Be kind this week. Do something nice for somebody. Buy somebody's freaking coffee behind you. You ever had that happen to you? How does that make you feel? It makes you feel, it gives you hope that the world is good. Do it. Let's do it this week. Christine, I love you. Nick Pixel. Levi Collin. Good night, everybody. Lyle Davis, I love you. Walworth. Bradley. G-Man. Pokeback. Tasha. Good to see you, Tash. A shame about these. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, I just, that's, I, I, they're unusable. I, I don't, I don't know. The wood nerd. Friends, listen. 
Do your best in life. Do your best. Even if you're, even if you're, you're behind the gun and, and you want out of a deal, go out clean. Go out clean. Keep your side of the freaking street clean. Guess what? Because you're being freaking judged. Don't think you're not. You are being judged. Every moment, every move you make, you are being judged. You are. Be kind to people. 